Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you something really exciting and cool. So I've been working on a program recently, few just few hours ago, with, um, a program uh, written in Python, which I've written in Python. So for a given truth table of two inputs, the program uh, checks whether the given outputs are tautology or not. So if it's a tautology, it displays it's a tautology and if it doesn't it, it it even displays it's a not tautology and the interesting part of the program is it even displays us which value of the inputs the output isn't a tautology so if you guys don't know before i start explaining how the uh, which algorithm have used data structures and stuff if you guys don't know what tautology is and <clears throat> uh, so I would like to explain it to you guys. So for that, let's see this truth table. So here, if you see, I have truth table of two inputs and one output. So first, for binary, in uh, if you guys don't know the binary number system, let me make it quick. In binary, we have only two cases. That is either 0 and 1. 0 represents false, 1 represents true. So for two inputs, we have total combinations of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, for first instance that is 0, 0, the output, output is 1. So now you might ask me, hey Akhil, how come on what basis did you select for 0, 0, 1? Even if you make 0 times 0 or 0 plus 0, it never becomes 1, right? So for that, the on what basis I have selected is, for that I've used a, another discrete, uh, discrete mathematics concept called as uh, conditional operator. So the way conditional operator works is, for that, you need to assume two things here. Let us assume P as a condition and Q as a body. So con these conditions and body are uh, existence checking in the our, one of our program. Okay. So in our in the first case, if we are, if we make an analogy that in our program there is no uh, there is no condition and there is no body even. So now that sounds logically true, right? There may be a case in where in your program there is no condition, but there is no body. But still your program as ex exists, right? So that indicates a logically true. Next case where there may be a case where in your program there is no condition, but there is body. So even that's equivalent to logically true. So it's a one. Next comes is the case where there is a condition, but there is no body. Now that doesn't sound logically right, right? Because in your body you write the condition. So in your condition you doesn't you don't write your body. So that is a false. That is a zero. Next comes is the common condition where you have the condition and even you have your body. So that's obviously a logically true. So that's how. So that's how the truth table that I have derived and. Based on this truth table and the conditional operator, I have implemented the, the program. So now let's see how I have implemented the program. Coming to the coding part, my favorite part. So first what I have done declared here is three variables to use uh, as nodes in my linked list. So I forgot to mention you guys the to use this program, I have used linked list as my data structure so it's memory efficient and even fast and so after that to store the memory addresses i've used these three variables and next i have written a function for tautology just now that i have explained in tautology except the case for p equal to 1 and q equal to 0 for rest of the cases you say 0 0 0 1 and 1 1 the output is one so our function returns one when p is uh, any input except one and zero next comes is the node so the way i have represented the node here is by using a class called node and a constructor which holds of three values that is the first one is the p input q input and the tautological output even so why i have done this is because so in the display function it helps us uh, to display the data in a chronological order so coming to the next part is i've declared another function called as insert so this helps us <clears throat> to ask the inputs from the user first i have asked the input and to the p value and to the q value then i have calculated 
the tautological output for that for those particular inputs so based on that i have created a node then i am trying to insert it in the linked list next comes is the display function as usual first i have took temporarily first as the temporary node then until and unless temporary uh, temporary node is none we are displaying the table all right so here is our little tiny logic which even tells us where <coughs> indicates whether the given output is tautology or not okay so this is our main program here at starting we are displaying two set of common writing on the screens then we are asking total set of inputs so this indicates total number of rows the user wants to in, uh, enter for each row the user has to enter two inputs that's the p and q so we display another message for the user so until and unless i is equal to zero this loop executes the insert function is called if its insert is one the counter is incremented that means it's a tautology the current inputs and at last after the user inserts i have uh, called the display function which displays and even indicates which of the following instances outputs are not a tautology so if counter that we have used here is equal to total number of inputs that user had entered before that is the total number of rows if it's equal then the truth table is the tautology else it's not a tautology so now let's see in actual time real time how does this work so now let's execute the program okay so at first it asks us total set of inputs so let's type 4 so in for two columns we have four instances four instances right so first it will ask us these P value p equal to 0 q equal to 0 now that's one instance next is p equal to 0 q equal to 1 next is p equal to 1 and q equal to 0 and next is last one p equal to 1 and q equal to 1 so here you can see <coughs> for the first instance the output is 1 it's a tautology second instance the output is 1 it's a tautology but for the third instance, using a conditional operator, if you check, there is a condition, but there is a nobody. So it's not a one. And it's even displaying this particular instance is not a tautology. So even if we add the last statements, it's concluding by saying truth table, which we have entered is not a tautology. So that's just a basic program that I've written. So I've thinking of uh, improving this program by uh, making it more complex like it should solve the uh, entire expressions if we give the expressions so i'm thinking of it as a future work progressions so do that's for this video guys do let me know what you guys think if you like it hit uh, hit the thumbs up button and do forget in your github i will add the link in the description and <clears throat> share it with your friends tag your friends i'll see you in the next video until then take care bye